If you don't get the latest ham radio magazines, you can still see our latest adverts. Just click on the link below or on the banner on our website. Simple, no cost, but you'll still see our latest adverts. Well, hello, welcome, thank you for joining uh, this channel. My name is Peter Waters and my call sign is Golf 3 Oscar Juliet Victor. I was in our warehouse uh, recently and I came across a pile of aerials that I sourced many years ago and we've sold lots and lots of them. It's a regular seller. And I thought, oh, this is just what I want because I've recently been using an IC705 and I thought, that's just what I want um, for mobile operation. And I brought it back with me. And I was sitting down looking at it the other evening, as you do, because there was nothing much on television. <laughs> and I pondered it a bit and it gave me one or two ideas. And I thought, I must try these out. But first of all, I thought, well, let me just refresh myself on this antenna. Now, it's so simple. It's a simple antenna. But I just want to talk you through what I did and uh, maybe it'll give you some ideas and maybe you'll find it's a useful antenna for you as well. Um, it was quite magical the way it all worked out for me. Now I must say it's some while since I looked at one of these antennas and that magnetic mount looks pretty small to me. It's smaller than I remembered it to be. That uh, coil there is sort of a matching coil and uh, it enables the antenna to resonate both on 2 metres and 70 cms. The antenna is actually a quarter wave on 2 metres and 3 quarter waves on 70 cms. So a little bit of gain on 70 cms. And certainly the quarter wave will work better than your little rubber duck on your handheld if by any chance you were thinking of using a handheld with it. Now this kite's cable that is also um, quite small, quite thin, <laughs> but uh, we shall see. The cable, I did mention, uh, uh, I did measure the cable and it's t uh, three metres long, so that should be enough for uh, most applications. Now, look at the other end, if I can find the other end. Go through three metres of cable, just to prove it is three metres or fairly long. Right, now the other end is a BNC. Now, BNCs are not so popular these days for things like handhelds or SMA, but of course you could always put a, uh, an adapter on there to convert it to SMA or whatever your, your, your radio is. Um, I'm doing the test actually with the IC705, so fortunately the IC705 has got a BNC, so it makes it that easy. So, there we are. Uh, well, the next thing to do, of course, is to... Um, test it all out. Right, well I've come out here with the uh, with the antenna, a little tiny antenna, a little tiny mag mount which I mentioned that, and I'm going to see, uh, I'm going to try it on the on the van here. Wow! I don't know you heard that. <laughs> that is strong! That is strong! Right, now we're going to carry out the bend test. Look at that! You can bend it right back on itself and it stays there. So even if you had that on a vehicle, sorry about some wind noise here, the wind's just got up. If you had that on a vehicle and it hit something, it would still stay on. That's absolutely incredible. Well, it obviously fits on a saloon car easily. I just can't believe how strong this magnet is. Uh, if you hit anything, it would... Uh, <laughs> be really firm so and the good thing about this is this cable is thin so it's going to go through the uh, car door let's have a look well I'm in the car now and uh, I'm gonna check the uh, actual um, uh, antenna out um, I put the uh, radio the IC705 temporarily on the dashboard there I wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> drive along with it like that. This is not safe, but at least it'll enable me to check the um, antenna and uh, the VSWR. So uh, let's see how it uh, how it goes. 
Uh, Golf 3 Oscar, Juliet Victor, G3OJV Mobile listening through, would appreciate a report. G3OJV Mobile listening. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, no reply. Um, that's repeaters for you. At least it, it's opening and, and, uh, and closing it. Right, I'm just going to put a carrier up now. I've gone in a bit closer. Put a carrier up on 145 decimal 2 and you'll see the SWR. There we are. And as you can see, the SWR is extremely low there, extremely low. So no problems there. So there we are. It's obviously going to be a good mobile antenna. If you want to go mobile quickly, temporarily or whatever, and go down the motorway, goodness knows how fast, that aerial is not going to come off. I really am impressed with the magnetic capability of that antenna. And of course, it uh, gives a low VSWR, VSWR as well, so uh, it's good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see how and if it's possible to use this antenna without mounting it on a metal base. Impossible? Well, I thought that until uh, I was pondering the other day, as I was saying earlier in the video, um, not really watching the television, and suddenly a thought came to me. So. Let's take a look and see whether it works or not. So this antenna is very good for occasional mobile operation. You know, you may not be a regular mobile operator, but you want to go somewhere and you plonk this on the roof of the car and you plug it into your radio and you've got a, got a, a whip. By the way, it'll handle about 20 watts and so forth. So it's likely to be used with handhelds or the IC705 or something of that ilk. Now, I do a lot, a lot of travelling around, or at least I did, not so much this year, of course, because of lockdown. But if I find myself in a hotel room with my IC705, could I use this whip? Well, clearly, unless the hotel room has got a metal cabinet or something, I've got no earth. And it's important to understand that a vertical antenna needs some sort of earth. I think I mentioned it before. Basically, if you imagine a vertical antenna as a bent dipole, the vertical is one part of the dipole and the metal underneath it, the car roof or whatever, uh, is the other side of the dipole. But of course that side of the dipole is missing in the hotel room. We could plunk it on the desk with a little bit of blue tack uh, underneath it. I say a desk, or the, most hotel rooms have got desks. So we put this vertical antenna onto the a hotel desk with a little blue tack to keep it vertical. But we get a high VSWR, and the reason we get a high VSWR is because we haven't got that ground plane or radial. We have got the coax feeder going to, but of course that's a random length and it doesn't recognise it as a radial. And as soon as you try to put some RF into it, you'll see you'll get a very high SWR. It just won't work. So what do we do? Well, this is what I did. Let me explain what I'm now going to do. We have the WSM270 antenna on this window ledge there, which would be perhaps in a hotel. Got a little bit of blue tack underneath it so it uh, doesn't move around. And we've got this feeder cable. Now, if I connect this antenna up to the radio at the moment, I will get a very high SWR because there's no ground plane. One way that we could make a ground plane, of course, would be if I was to cut the cable at a distance of about 19 inches. Now, I say 19 inches because I'm old-fashioned and I happen to know that 19 inches is approximately a quarter wave on two metres. So I could, I could cut the cable at, uh, say, 19 inches, which is probably around about there, um, but if I cut the cable, of course, I can't uh, use it because I've cut the cable there's no connection to the transceiver. So let's uh, think about this. So there's my 19-inch point. What if I was to put a ferrite core there, wind the cable around the ferrite core? What that would do, that would choke off this section here. So this section here would act as a quarter wave and 
be blocked off, but the signal could still travel up the kite's cable. So in other words, what I'm going to do is put the ferrite core there and create a quarter wave radial using the feeder cable. Now I know from experience that if you put a core onto kite's cable, you get a bit of capacity loading. So I've moved this core in to a position which is around about 16 inches. So in actual fact, that radial is slightly short, but the capacity loading of that core will probably bring it back to 19 inches. Guesswork at the moment, so let's see what happens. So there we are, there's about uh, four turns um, on this core, and the uh, core is around about 16 inches out from the base of the antenna. So let's uh, now check the SWR. Right, I've now set the radio up on uh, 145 200. And I'm going to transmit and uh, watch the SWR meter. Let's see what it is. There we are. Well, no, that's absolutely amazing. I can't see any SWR. <laughs> There's just a tad of SWR there. It's almost a perfect match. It's almost a perfect match. That's, that's quite incredible. Um, so it obviously works. Just take it off from um, transmit and back on transmit again. There we are, you see, there's virtually no, well, there's no SWR really, is it? It's a perfect match. And that's been achieved by using this uh, ferrite core, creating a quarter wave radial from the base of the antenna. Now, the reason I actually use this core was because that's all I had. <laughs> but I've since found uh, something else in the uh, box here. I found one of these clamp-on ferrite cores and uh, I found that if I put about three turns of cable round the core and clamp it, uh, then that uh, creates the same effect. And of course the advantage of that is it's a bit smaller than that large ferrite core. But then I had another idea. Supposing you hadn't got a ferrite core or a ferrite clamp, I got a clothes peg. Now, we don't sell clothes pegs, but I'm sure you can find a clothes peg from somewhere in your house. Let me show you what I did. I wound several turns of cable around the clothes peg and then wedged it in, probably can't see this very well, then I wedged it in the opening of the clothes peg. It's very crude, as you can see. It's basically a coil of wire around the clothes peg and the clothes peg mouth is just sort of uh, holding it together. So, let's see what that does. And here we are with the clothes peg. Uh, let's just check the SWR now. There we are. Just a, just a smidge again. Just a smidge again. I'm, I must admit, with the clothes peg, it's a bit more twitchy. You have to be more precise. Um, I would go for a ferret core, but in an emergency, you could wind a coil of the cable around something about six or seven turns, fairly well, tightly spaced, and it will get you on two meters. So there we are. Clothes peg on two meters with the WSM 270. That was a bit of fun, wasn't it? <laughs> the WSM 270 dual band antenna. Don't forget your clothes peg. There we are. Well, you can have some fun with radio sometimes. You, you know, you think about these things and you think, oh, I wonder if that'll work. Well, it's nice when it does work. So if you're traveling around and you want a uh, simple antenna to get you on two meters, or 77's come to that, although I didn't try the uh, quarter wave uh, on 70 cents, I think it should work. Be much more twitchy, I should think. But for two meters, uh, it's very easy. And it means to say that you can put the um, antenna on the car and uh, use it uh, for a normal mobile uh, operation. Um, it's totally stable and it's not going to get knocked off at all because that magnet's so strong. And if you're in a hotel or you're in a holiday somewhere, you can take the antenna off and put your ferrite core on the end or your clothes peg. 
um, and uh, have some fun. So that's what it's all about, isn't it? Ham radio, having fun. <laughs> there we are. Well, thanks very much for watching this video. I hope it's been informative, entertaining, or whatever. Um, do try to make these videos interesting and entertaining sometimes. Um, don't forget that uh, if you're looking for any uh, ham radio gear, our um, operation in Portsmouth is very operational and indeed very, very busy at the moment, but it doesn't stop us getting the stuff out in 24 hours to you. So uh, give us a call or go on the website. WSM270 is on our website. You can order that. Uh, and I'll try and remember to put a link uh, below this video as well. In the meantime, enjoy your ham radio. Have fun. Keep safe. Thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, press the subscribe button. That uh, alerts you to any new videos, and there will be some new videos coming up. In the meantime, enjoy yourself. Take care. Speak soon.